everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a little haul video for you. Last week, two of my girlfriends and I went to Toronto, Ontario to see New Kids on the Block and Backstreet Boys in concert. It was super awesome. We had a super great time. So while we were in Toronto, we decided to do some shopping, of course. So we hit up Orphis Road, which for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a street that has all outlet stores on it. So I think there's like 52 or 56 outlet stores. So we hit up that street the first night we were there. And then the following day, the day of the concert, um, during the day we ended up going to the Eaton Center and hitting up a few of the stores along the way. So we got some good shopping in. Um, I went to Sephora and MAC for my very first time. I was the Sephora and MAC virgin, so I was really excited about that. I could have bought like the entire store, but I only picked up a few products because I knew my husband would be rolling his eyes at me if I came home with more makeup kind of thing. So I guess I will start with the beauty products that I purchased. So I'm going to start, like I said, with beauty products. Um, I picked up two nail polish colors from one of the stores on the Outlet Road. I don't remember what the store was called, but I got these two colors by Essie. This one's called Absolutely Shore, like a, like a seashore, and this one's called Smooth Sailing. So this one here is like, like a seafoam green, I guess. From afar, it almost looks white. I've got it on my toes right now. And then this one's a really pretty purple that's got like a shimmer. You see how pretty that is? So I picked those up at the outlet store. So we went to Bath and Body Works, which that place just smells amazing. So I picked up some candles and I picked up some hand soap, which is already in my bathroom and such. But I also got these two little bottles here of body lotion. This one is Sweet Pea and this one is Twilight Woods. Now, this one's nice and fruity, very summery. I don't even know how to explain the smell of this one, but it is amazing. Definitely my favorite. I can sit here and smell it all day. It's a shame that you guys can't smell it, but if you have a Bath & Body Works near you, I would suggest to pick this up because it smells fantastic. So like I mentioned earlier, it's my first time in Mac and Sephora and I just wanted to go crazy and buy anything, everything, but I only got two products at each store. So I'll start with the Buxom Lash Liner that I bought in Leatherette. I think that's how you say it. Leatherette? Leatherette? Anyhow, it's a black gel liner, so I'll pop it out and I'll show you guys. This is the first gel liner I've ever owned. I've been wanting to try it for a little while, just wasn't sure what brand to buy, if I should, if I shouldn't, because I'm really not good at applying liquid liner, but the consistency of it is a lot different, so it was a lot easier for me to apply. I used it for the first time today, if you can see my black liner, and I absolutely love it. So it comes in this cute little container here, it's got the name on the back, if you can see that. So it's just a black gel liner, and I can already tell that it's going to be one of my favorites. Absolutely. So also from Sephora, I picked up Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. So it comes in this package here, and I've seen a few people on YouTube use this to apply their glitters, and I've got a bunch of loose pigment glitter that I bought off of Cherry Culture, so I'm really excited to be able to use it now that I have this glitter glue. So that's what I got from Sephora. I know it's not a lot, but my first time there, it's a little overwhelming, I have to admit. So at MAC, I got Paint Pot in Painterly. So it comes in this nice little packaging. And if I can open it here. So the Painterly is just a beige color. So MAC. I could have bought everything in this store again. And then it's like this. So it's like a cream eyeshadow. You can use that as a base. You can use it just as is I guess. Um, I mean it is skin color so it just leaves a nice finish on your eye. I used it today um, as a base and I really like it. And then I also bought a Amplified Cream lip Lipstick and it's called Impassioned which I actually have on my lips right now. So I'll pop it out as well and show you guys. I, don't, I, I just love the way all this packaging look, looks. And there it is there. 
really pretty, super soft, glides on really nice onto the lips. So I'm really, really, really happy with those purchases. So I ended up buying a few accessories while we were there, um, mostly from Forever 21, which these earrings here that I'm wearing are from Forever 21. Super cute, super simple, just zebra print. So I'll show you what I purchased from there. So I got this necklace here, which has a high heel. Is that not super cute? My best friend also bought one because we're both obsessed with heels. So I got that necklace. I mostly bought earrings. I don't know I'm like obsessed with earrings right now. So I bought these ones here, which are like the same as what I'm wearing, just leopard print. I got these ones here. These are so fun. I guess they're supposed to be like feathers, like mimicked feathers. Super pretty. I actually wore these to a wedding on Saturday night. I got these ones here. And again, these are all from Forever 21. So these pretty little, like, feathers, nice and colorful. Now these ones are very heavy in the ears, but they're a lot of fun. You can see there's, like, little gems and pearls. They're sparkly. And then from Forever 21, I also got this set of bangles. You can see they're very, very colorful. So much fun. And then at the Le, Ch Le Chateau outlet that we went to, I only got one pair of earrings, but I bought these. They're very, very pretty. So while we were on Orphis Road, we went to an Ardeen outlet. Now, I have an obsession with obnoxiously huge sunglasses. And it just so happened that on our way into Toronto, my very, very favorite pair of sunglasses that I owned which I bought at Le Chateau, I want to say two summers ago, broke. I pulled the sunglasses out of my purse and the arm fell off. And those were the only sunglasses I had brought with me on the trip. I thought about bringing more than one pair. I was like, no, I'm not going to need, you know, two or three pairs. I'll just bring my favorite pair. And then they broke. So when we went to the Ardeen outlet, the sunglasses were four for $10. So I picked up these ones here. Like I said, I have a thing for obnoxiously huge sunglasses. These almost look like goggles now that I look at them and my hair is all crazy. So I picked up those ones. These ones here, which are like a two-toned. So they're like black and then white. I really like these ones. They're very similar to the ones that actually broke. The ones that broke were blue and yellow. I'm going to miss them. I really am. So I got those ones. These big guys here, which is probably hard to see. on. Oh, you can see it leopard print and then it's got like this silver here these guys are gigantic look at look at my hair here <laughs> and then another pair of leopard print ones but these ones fade into like just a beige so the leopard print and then beige I like these ones a lot so those are my sunglasses and while we were there I also got four purses for $10. One day I'd eventually like to get like a really nice purse, like a Louis Vuitton or something, but that's just not in the cards for me right now. So I'll settle with these purses, which I go through purses a lot, so it's not that bad to pay $10 for four. So I picked up this big mama here. Just like oversized sunglasses, I love huge purses. I think it's because I have two kids and I'm used to carrying so much stuff with me. That's probably part of it. So anyhow, it's got like the two little straps here, which is like a, like a faux leather and it's leopard print. So the next bag that I purchased was this one here, not as big as the other one, but big enough and it's zebra print. Again, it's got the two straps that are like a faux leather or I don't even know, actually, I don't know what you would call that. Anyhow, I used this on our trip and it worked very well. And then I also got this one here. So this one's just a nice plain black. It's nice to have like a simple bag that will go kind of with everything. Again, the double, double straps here. And then this one, I actually have all my stuff in it. I'm actually using it. So it's one strap, it's beige, it's got a big flap here and it zips up. All of them zip up, which I absolutely need because I tend to kind of throw my purses around and everything falls out. So zippers are definitely a must for me. So now I will get on to the shoes. So I am an absolute shoeaholic. 
but I only came home with four pairs of shoes, two pairs of heels, and two pairs of sandals, which is very surprising. Even my husband was surprised. So the first pair I'm going to show you are from Nine West. Now it was the Nine West outlet store, so I got them for $15. So they are these here, pointy toed. It's like a silk finish. And then they're like a metallic, I guess beigey silver. I don't, I don't really know what to call that color. Anyhow, $15. Super cute. Then at the Le Chateau outlet, I picked up these ones, which were $40. Are those not awesome? Again, pointy toed, heel, orange. I love how it's yellow on the inside. I love the contrast of the colors. Super cool shoes. I wore these while we were in Toronto. They're very comfortable. So while we were at the Eaton Center, I went to Spring and picked up two pairs of sandals. So I picked up these ones here, so they're white, lots of different straps, like little embellishments on them. Super cute, and I lo just love the way that they look on. So those ones there, and then I also bought these Gladiator sandals. How awesome are these? Both pairs of sandals were $39, I want to say $99, something like that, or $39.98, something. So there's those there. They're super comfy. Now when I showed my husband these ones, he was like, Really? You like those? <laughs> I was like, I absolutely love them, but thanks for, you know, making fun of me. So those are the shoes, and now I will show you the few pieces of clothing. So I'm going to start with the dress that I bought from Forever 21. I want to say that this is a maxi dress. I think that's what everybody's calling them. I'm not sure. It's a long dress, anyhow. So it's strapless, and here you'll see it's a little bit ruched and stretchy. And then it, so it's snug around the chest area and then it just flows out. So I'll show you guys here. So it's white, pink, and black. Here's the bottom. It's so comfy and so pretty on and I figure I'll belt it, you know, make it my own. But I really, really like so it. So last but not least, we went to a store called Katie. It was on the way back from the Eaton Center on, on our way to our hotel and... We looked in it and we thought, hey, let's just stop here for fun. So it's actually a one-size-fits-all store, which is really strange because, I mean, we're all different sizes and shapes. But the clothes that they have, um, the way that they stretch and the materials and the way that they fit, I mean, they're pretty universal for anybody. So I picked up a few things from there, and the prices were fantastic. Like, what I purchased was between $15.99 and $24.99. I think that was the most expensive thing. I think it's great prices. So I bought this shirt here, so it's white and black with like, I guess you'd call it like a chain print or whatever, and then at the bottom it's just solid black, so it's very fitted around the hips. You can pull it down to wear it as a dress, but I'm probably more so going to wear it as a shirt. And then the way that it fits, you can have it sit like this or, you know, have it like hanging one shoulder, very com comfortable, and you can kind of like really change it up the way you wear it. So next I bought this little dress, so it's little short sleeves, guess a bit of a scoop neck. It cinches in just under the bust and it's got these super pretty flowers on it. Super super pretty, so nice and colorful and it's short, like it's not ridiculously short but it's short enough. Super nice for summer and then it's got the same print on the back. I absolutely love this dress, absolutely love it, I'm so glad that I bought it. So then I got this shirt as well, and it's kind of hard, I know it looks huge, it's really not, but it's a one shoulder, so here we go, here's the sleeve, one shoulder top, and then it like cinches at the bottom, so again, very, very flowy, very comfortable, and I just, I love the way it drapes, it's so nice. And then last but not least, I know this one looks huge too, they all look crazy without having them on, but... They actually fit really nice, you just have to take my word for it. So I got this shirt here, I know this probably hurts the eyes, it says something on it, <laughs> my mom and I were trying to figure out what it says, I have absolutely no idea what it says, it's kind of funny, but it's got something on it, and then again it's tighter around the waist area, or like your hip area, because that's where it hits on me, and again you can wear it like off the shoulder, or however you want to do it, it's really comfy. And like I said, like one size fits all, it's really cool. So that's my haul video. I'm sorry if it's a little lengthy. 
Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and we'll see you guys soon.